Hey, New Hope, it's great to see you. It's Pastor Austin here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm excited that part of the state is opening up. I'm excited to join together uh, when we can do that safely. And so just continue to pray. The Lord hears us as we pray. And let's just pray that, that God would move, that uh, we would see healings and we would see his provision. We'd stand on his promises. So I look forward to seeing you soon. But today I thought that uh, I would just kind of check in on some of my fellow co-workers. It's weird working by yourself. It's weird not rubbing shoulders. And so I just figured I'd check in with a few of our pastors, see how they were doing. And the first pastor we've got to uh, talk to today is Pastor Kerry. Hey, Pastor Kerry, how are you doing? How, how, how are things going? Hey, Pastor Austin, great to hear from you. How are you doing? Oh, well, I've got nothing to complain about on my end, I suppose. Have you been staying busy at all? Oh, we've been really busy. We've? Do you mean you and Lori? Have you have you guys been doing some at-home projects? Oh, no, not me and Lori. Me and Pete and Elmer's. Who's Pete and Elmer's? You mean you don't know Pete the parrot and Elmer's the horse? Oh, we've been having all sorts of fun during quarantine. We've been painting pictures, going on road trips, and I forgot to tell you about Sally. Let me guess, Sally the snake. That's a dumb name, Sally the snake. No, Sally the sock, silly. Say hi, Sally. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good, how are you? I'm great. It's good to see everybody today. <laughs> Okay, then. It seems like you've been keeping busy, and I'm not sure what to say. Uh, is, is there anything I can be praying for for you guys? Well, my wife keeps on telling me that I've gone insane, but you know how people get when they get older, so you could probably just pray for her. Oh, trust me, Carrie. We will definitely be praying for Lori. Let's check in with Pastor Brett. Pastor Brett, are you there? Can you hear me? Mommy made me mash my M and M's. Oh no! Mommy made me mash my M and M's. Oh no! Pastor Brett, hello. Can you hear me? You doing some vocal calisthenics? Wow, that sounds a lot like LeMay's techniques. Are you, you doing okay? Okay, well, it looks like we'll have to check in with Pastor Brett next week. You know, I've always wondered how Pastor Brett sings so beautifully and on pitch. And my dad always said that he taught Pastor Brett everything that he knew. And after having an inside look at his vocal practice that's pretty believable speaking of my dad dad are you there can you hear me you, you doing okay oh i'm doing good i'm just washing my hands keep that coronavirus away from me how many times have you washed your hands today dad oh, this is my fifth time this hour good for you last hour i washed them 12 times can't be too safe wow well i'm glad that you're taking every precaution Oh yeah, I make Susan sleep in the unfinished basement downstairs. Dad, you can't do that. What do you mean? She loves it down there. Well, she's probably just enjoying a place of sanity away from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Have you been staying home? Oh yeah, thanks to hy Vee Isles, we never have to leave our house. Toilet paper, Kleenex, hand soap, all the baking supplies and fresh veggies that anyone could ever want. Me and your mom are set. You know how we love hy V. What a great local company. They do so much good around the community. That's why everybody should shop hy V. Well, we all know how much you love hy V, And I admit, it's a great company. Hey, earlier you called the coronavirus the corna virus. And I just want to make sure that you know it's the corona virus. Virus. I don't want you to sound silly when you talk about the virus in public. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, Dad, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I, I didn't mean to make you cry. Are you crying? <laughs> I just miss everyone so much. And I, I love you. And I... And I, I want to be with everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, we will add my mom to the prayer list. Mom, if you're watching this, we're behind you in prayer. Hey, is Pastor Courtney there? Courtney, can you, can you hear me? Are, are, are you with us? <gasps> Pastor Austin, my favorite. Oh, thanks, Courtney. You know, you're my favorite NH Kids Pastor. I'm the only kids pastor, you goofball. <laughs> well, you caught me. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Hey, you want to hear a good joke? It's a real knee slapper. Sure, I could use another good one. Are you ready? Yeah, hit me with it. Are you sure? I'm just waiting. Okay. Why does Waldo wear stripes? Hmm. Because he doesn't want to be spotted. <laughs> hmm. I don't get it. Maybe next week you can bring a better joke, Pastor Courtney. That was kind of lame. Well, I would like to stay and interview the rest of the pastors, but their schedules did not permit them to be able to do that today. So I, before we leave and before I pray, I just want to leave you with one thought. And that comes from Proverbs 17, verse 22, where it says, A merry heart doth good like a medicine. And we all know just the amount of gladness and joy that laughing can bring. And so I want to challenge you this week to live a life that is full of joy. I pray that your house would be filled with laughter, that in the times that you feel like ripping out your hair and you're just living an insane life right now with your kids or your spouse, that you would just begin to laugh and joy would fill your heart. And I hope that that's what this video did. I hope that this video brought a smile to your face, maybe a, even a, a laugh out loud, but would you comment in the section of wherever you're watching this with your favorite dad joke? Dad jokes are short, simple, clean, and uh, we, we just want to hear from you and just allow the joy of the Lord to be spread. So let me pray for you. Jesus, I thank you for everyone who's watching this video. I pray that their hearts would be filled with joy and happiness, and that it would be contagious and it would spread to those who don't know you. And while others are searching for joy and searching for a reason to be happy, they would see you in us, God, that we can have peace and we can have joy even in the midst of our uncertain circumstances. Pray a blessing over everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you next time.